If you're a shareholder of Berkshire Hathaway, this is an extremely great news for you. And remember to watch the entire video to really get a great sense of what is happening with Berkshire Hathaway right now. And also remember to subscribe, leave a like, and also comment. I really want to hear what everybody's thoughts are on this. Berkshire Hathaway Class A shares top $600,000 for the very first time, but its conglomerate edges toward $1 trillion milestone, according to Business Insider. So this is what's going on right now. Berkshire Hathaway notched a new record this week when its Class A shares closed above $600,000 on Wednesday. Think about that. How insane is that? $600,000 per share. Crazy how far Berkshire Hathaway has come since Warren Buffett, you know, took over. And Warren Buffett's conglomerate is now the seventh largest U.S. company and trades at a valuation of about $880 billion, putting it at just $120 billion away from the $1 trillion milestone. Berkshire Hathaway is now in a race with Eli Lilly to become the first $1 trillion U.S. company that is not a technology firm. So Eli Lilly's market valuation is about $130 billion behind Berkshire Hathaway at $749 billion. So Buffett took over Berkshire Hathaway back in 1965 when its stock was trading at just about $19 per share. Could you imagine if you just spent one, just just one share in back in 1965? Wow. I mean, think about that for a second. $19 per share. And uh, now it's approaching, what is it again? $600,000. Wow. So Buffett took over Berkshire Hathaway back in 1965 when its stock was trading about $19 per share. Since then, the stock has re- uh, soared 3215 sorry, $3,215,489%. Uh, $3, million to $610,962 dollars per share on Friday and all along Buffett has resisted a stock split. So instead Berkshire Hathaway introduced lower price class B shares. This was back in 1996. At the time class A shares traded at above $30,000 while class B shares started trading at 1/30th the price around $1,000 in part due to a stock split in 2010 after Berkshire uh, purchased railroad operator BNSF. So Buffett's reasoning behind not splitting the Class A shares in his is his quest to attract high-quality buy-and-hold investors that are more focused on the long-term growth and sustainability of the business rather than the price level of the stock. In a 1995 shareholders meeting, Buffett said splitting the stock would likely attract short-term investors who had little knowledge about the underlying business. I know, quote, I know if we had something that was a lot easier for anybody with $500 to buy, that would get an, an awful lot of people buying it who did not have the faintest idea what they were doing. Buffett said the last price milestone reached by Berkshire Hathaway's Class A shares in March 2022 when the stock crossed above the $500,000 threshold. Since then, Berkshire Hathaway has amassed a nearly 30% stake in Oxy Petroleum and bought insurance company Allegheny for $11.6 billion. In the company's investment portfolio, if individual stock has swelled to over uh, or nearly $350 billion. So that's just really incredible and um, really happy for Warren Buffett, really happy for all the shareholders who did, in fact, buy and hold Berkshire Hathaway's stock because um, they are just making absolute bank right now, of course. I mean, look at them go. So really incredible. And um, so tip of the hat to Warren Buffett. What do you think of this video? Do you like this video? Um you know, leave a comment. What I absolutely love about Warren Buffett's content is that he gives a take that was relevant 100 years ago. It's relevant right now, and it's going to be relevant 100 years from now as well. And that is exactly why you should subscribe to this channel is because we provide so much amazing content just like this, talking about the stock market 
finance and all of that and we try to make every single video that will be relevant a hundred years from now as it is relevant right now today. Thanks so much once again for checking out this video of income views. Remember to subscribe. If you can't subscribe, I cannot continue making videos just like this one for you. Also remember to click the like button and also comment as to what you think of this video and what else you would like to see in terms of personal finance, Warren Buffett content, and so much more because we cover it all on this channel. Thank you so much for watching everybody and I will see See you in the next video.